Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to fix your PlayStation 4 error code CE33991-5 could not connect to the network. So let's go ahead and jump into the video right now. So if you've been experiencing problems with your local network or you cannot connect to PlayStation Network, Go ahead and follow these simple steps. The first thing we want to go ahead and do is go up to settings on the home screen of our PlayStation 4 and then go down to network and select this option. Now go to test internet connection. This will help us diagnose what our problem is. So let's press X on this and obtain the IP address internet connection and see if we can successfully log into PlayStation Network. So I'm getting successful for each one of those. Now, if you are having a problem connecting to the internet, you're gonna have to diagnose that problem by restarting or unplugging your router. Now, if it says you can't sign into PlayStation Network, PlayStation Network itself may be down. So let's go ahead and go back out of the screen. Now, under the main network settings screen, let's go to set up internet connection. Now, go ahead and choose Wi-Fi or LAN cable. If you're on LAN cable, go ahead and switch to Wi-Fi if you have the option just to see if this works. If you do have a LAN cable available, go ahead and try connecting that if you're on Wi-Fi. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this. Now I'm going to go to custom for the internet connection setup. Go to automatic for IP settings. Go to do not specify for a DHCP host name. Then for DNS settings, go to manual and type this in. And this will be the Google Open DNS, and it will connect you to the closest available DNS server for you. So delete this and type in 1.1.1.1 1 R2 done. Then go to secondary DNS and type in 1.0.0.1, press R2 and done. Go to next, MTU settings, go to automatic. Proxy server, do not use. Now go to test internet connection and see if you are getting the, the same results. So my results look good. Now let's go ahead and back out of this screen. Now if you're getting errors specifically related to PlayStation Network, go down to view status of PlayStation Network services and see if the services are actually down. So under here, we are able to see if the PlayStation Network is down. So all services are up and running. So this is looking good. Now let's focus on our internet router. So I have a router slash modem all in one here. So let's go to the back of this device. And what we want to do is unplug it. Now unplug it for about 30 seconds to a minute. And then replug it back in. And this is going to reset the cache on your device. And if you are having some kind of internet issue, hopefully this will fix it. If it does not, go ahead and call up your service provider and see if there's any outages in your area. Now go ahead and plug it back in. All right, so it's starting up. So if this video did indeed help you out, go ahead and leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech out videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.